In the previous videos, I introduced you to Migo application development. I started with the development tools available and a quick overview of the Migo architecture. Then I used the core Migo SDK tool, the Qt Creator IDE, to show you a quick Hello World example where I use QML and other great features of the Qt Creator. I then showed a slightly more advanced application example where I mixed the C++ code at the back end and used the QML for the front end UI. Along the way, I showed you how to run your applications in Qt Creator as well as port them to a Migo device and run them natively. In these videos, I wanted to briefly show you how quick and easy it is to create your own applications for the Migo platform. This was only a glimpse of what is possible with these tools and I really encourage you to go to developer.migo.com to get more information. Although Migo is a fresh and new open source platform, there is already a large and growing Migo community. This community can give you a lot of support regarding all aspects of Migo development practices. I hope this brief introduction to Migo will inspire you to create your own applications with Migo SDK and to share them with the world.